If you haven't solved yesterday's lead code purity problem of lexicographical numbers, so go and solve it. I suggest you to go and solve it, then only you can understand this problem. Now, let us understand what is given in this question. Given two integers n and k, return the k lexicographically smallest integer in the range 1 to n. So, let me take an example n is equal to 150 and k is equal to 88. So, you can easily understand what is given in the question, right? Now, I am starting with 1. Now, I am expanding this stripe. Now, from 1, where can I go, right? But before, I can expand, right? Go to 2 and then there might be the kth element, right? Now, there might be 4, but uh, 3 and then 4. But the thing is, I can get all the numbers in a vector of int by using the dfs as i explained in the previous video but this would fail for the larger test cases n can be till 1 e 9 so what i mean is let us just expand this try now from 1 the next lexicographical number is 10 and i can go 11 12 13 14 and go till 19 right okay now from 10 can I go to 100? Yes, I can go to 100. Now, after that, I can go to 101 until 109, right? From 11, I can go to 110 and 119. From 12, 121 and 129. From 13, 131 and 139. From 14, 141 and 149, right? From 15, I can go to only 150. Why? Why? Because after 150, I can't go to 151. Why? Because n is given as 150. So, I can't go to 151. Now, I'm just taking like 11 to 119, 1 to, uh, 121 to 129, 131 to 139, 141 to 149. Right. My intuition is just let us check whether the kth smallest element will be present in this tree or not. This is a tree, right? But if we want to check, do I have to check from here and then go from here to here and then all and then go from here? No need. Why? Because if I knew how many elements are there in this tree, right? How many elements are there in this tree? Then I can know if there are number of elements, right? Number of elements are lesser than k. Then I can just skip this tree and just go to 2. Now, let us see what are the number of elements. Here comes the first element only in this level. And in this level, I got 1 to uh, 11 to 19, just 9. And then 10, just 10 elements right till now I got 11 elements now from here to here I got 10 10 20 till now 30 40 50 so 50 and then I got one element 51 elements so I got 51 elements now if I add all these elements all this number of elements 11 plus 51 would give me 61 right sorry it's not 61, it would be 62. 62 is lesser than k. 62 is lesser than k. Now, what I'll do is I just skipped how many elements? 62 elements, right? 8 minus 2 is 6, 8 minus 6 is 2. So, I am remaining with only 26 elements, right? If I knew that 26 will be here, somewhere here, if not, if not, there are only, uh, there are only 13 elements. Just imagine there are 13 elements here. Then I need to again look for 13 elements. Now, if I take another example, like if I have 20 elements here, right? And I need to check for sixth element in this tree. Now, that's my intuition being that intuition. Now, let us see. I just need 26 elements. Whether do I have 26 elements in this tree or not? Let us check. From 2, I can go to 20 until 
29. From 20, can I go to 200? No, not at all. Right. Now from 20, 1, 22, 23, 24 and so on till 29. Now how many elements do I have? Here is 10 plus 1 is 11. Now 11 number of elements is less than k. What I need to do? Just skip. And k minus is equal to number of elements. That's what I did. k is 26 and number of elements are 11. Then I would get something like 15 elements. Now I need to get whether do I have 15 elements or not right from 3 I would go to 30 until 39 from 30 can I go to 300 no not at all right I got uh, 11 elements here right so 11 elements here now 15 11 is lesser than 15 now number of elements is lesser than k what I need to do at this time k minus is equal to number of elements again then k will be 4 now I would start with 4 again 4 and 40 and go till 49 41 42 43 now here the k will be k will be 4 and here the k will be 3 and here k will be 2 and here k will be 1 and at this moment of time the uh, the name or the answer are or let me say it as prefix prefix is 42 and when k value has become 0 that means I went through I went through k values till now I started with 88 here 87 86 85 and so on and ended with the k smallest element at 40 but the problem here is how do I get the number of elements number of elements in a subtree for that let us see how do i get the number of elements in a subtree right so imagine i have one right and i have 10 till 90 and from one the next element is two and then i got 20. now just checking this number right this level this level 1 now 1 and 2 right at this level only I got only one element right so let me take the count as just 0 now I just got only one, ele one element in this level so I'm just incrementing it by 1 now here I got 10 elements right so I got 10 elements after multiplying 1 by 10 1 by 10 right now I have multiplied 1 by 10 now if you see I got 20 and I got 10 here now if you see 2 minus 1 had given me 1 and 20 minus 10 is giving me 10 again and I'm just adding it right now let us see at 15 I got 150 right okay now at 14 I got 140 and 149 now when I am at 140 I just do 150 minus 140 and I get how many uh, elements are there here but when I am at 15 I would say I would go to 16 and 16 minus 1 here in this level for 15 as a prefix I would get one element now when I got 50 uh, 150 should I go to 160 and 160 minus 50 I would get all those 151 150 until uh, till 159 no not at all why because 150 is the last element right so what I'll do instead is 151 minus 150 will give us the element right number of elements so what i am saying is i would take maximum sorry sorry i would take minimum here instead of 160 i am taking 151 why because n is the largest element so n plus 1 comma here i would take this as prefix right this as prefix if this is my prefix the next element will be 
15 plus 1 right yes now this is my prefix and this is my next and then the current will be 15 into 10 now let me write it prefix prefix is 15 and the next value will be prefix plus 1 which is nothing but 16 now let me take the current also as 15 right i am just just assuming that the current is 15 now i need to get one element here right i need to count this one element at this level how do i count it for that count plus is equal to minimum of n plus 1 comma next is 16 next minus current this is how i will count the number of elements now i have this current and it might go it might go to 150 and then 1500 also so what i am saying is count plus is added now current is multiplied with 10 and so the next also right now the current is 150 and the next is 160 but i have just started with 15 and i am there itself now the current is 150 and next is 160 here comes the question n plus 1 is 151 next is 160 minus current is 150 minimum is 151 minus 1 minus 150 will give us 1 this is how i get the number of elements if there is something like n is the last element or if i got the current element as as n element now what i did after this i got count one from 15 i got here one count and here another count but current into is equal to 10 1500 next into is equal to 10 1600 so at this moment of time current is 1500 so it is greater than n so what i'll do is current is less than or is equal to n then only run this loop that's it so if you look at the code here count prefix starting with the prefix right and long long n now current is equal to prefix and next is equal to prefix plus one and count is just started with zero now current is less than or equal to n count plus is equal to minimum of n plus one comma next minus current and current is two is equal to 10 and next is two is equal to 10 now as i said firstly if count is less than or is equal to k let me just do this now if i have just uh, something like 10 elements but i need 15th k is equal to 15th element now i just got 10 or just take it as 11 11 elements what i'll do i'll just skip it now the prefix firstly is 1 now what it become 2 right so what i am doing when number of elements are lesser than k what i am doing let me tell you count is less than or is equal to k is equal to k then prefix plus plus i just did from one i go uh, i go to two now k minus is equal to count as i said before i would remove the count why because this is not i am counting for now right now after that else what i said here is if i have if i have k is equal to four and the number of elements are not less than or equal to right so they are not less than now what i'll do is multiply by 10 now that's what i am doing prefix into is equal to 10 and k minus minus why k minus minus why because this is eliminated this is how to solve this problem and i have given the code link in the description and if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section and do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you